Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. Family, this video is going to be my commentary on the Bill Maher show where he discusses the use of the N-word in his last week segment uh, while he was trying to make a joke. Um, he's discussing this issue with Michael Eric Dyson, Ice Cube, and Simone Sanders. So with that, there's a video on this um, particular interview with Michael Dyson, uh, Michael Eric Dyson. I'm going to leave the link to that. Um, it starts right where their interview starts. So with that, I'm going to get started. So at 2.38 of the interview, Dyson explains the use of the word. He, Dyson goes into making the point in comparison of the house nigger versus the field nigger by saying that it's not like either one was any better than the other. They both, both men and women, were subjected to slavery, dominance, slavery, dominance, hatred, rape, and the like. People felt that Mayer was insensitive. So here's my observation of that is that during this so-called teachable moment that uh, Dyson was talking about, uh, Dyson was exp um, is explaining to Mayer the issue Mayer is repeatedly trying to cut Dyson off. I don't know if you saw that. I'm sure you you recognize that. Or if you haven't seen the video, you'll you'll recognize that where Mayer is repeatedly trying to cut Dyson off just to make his point. Um, and you know that when someone's doing that, when someone's trying to butt in on your explanation, it's not a teachable moment. You're not even listening to what they're trying to tell you because you're constantly trying to get your point across right so how can you be listening to the other person if you're already on to your next thought and trying to cut in that's a, a a good question I would like to ask so at my next point in there is at uh, 405 where Dyson's son uh, Dyson explains how his son texted his response Dyson speaks on white privilege from his book tears we cannot stop and from uh, my observation, gave Mayer a cop-out excuse for his behavior in which he calls it, quote, unconscious reflex. You'll hear um, Michael Eric Dyson say that. But to be fair, Dyson many times points out the work that Mayer has done by standing up to power and uh, speaking out on for issues for those who cannot um, speak. So, I mean... Sure, he's done that, but so has many others, and in some respects, some racists at that. Because some racists will agree with some black people, especially if you are speaking the same language they're speaking. So we won't even go into that. But anyways, um, my, Mayor would not have um, would not have said it if black people were all on code and didn't accept it either. That's my whole point. Is that yeah, Mayor? He did say it in in and he said it in a jokingly way. But you know what? If black people were all on code, and we all did not accept the use of that word, knowing its history, then he wouldn't have even said it, because he knows that that would have been foul and not even worthy of being a, in, a, in a comedic way at all. He wouldn't have made it as a joke. And see. Another problem I have with that is that um, it's the testing of it. It's like if you test the field and people accept that, what makes other comedians not do the same thing and say the same thing? Because after all, if Bill Mayer can get away with it, why can't I? So I think it's really troublesome that some, even black comedians, and I... I have to admit, I, I really like D.L. Hughley. He's one of the other people who has defended Bill Mayer because he's a comedian too. But we have to draw the line somewhere. And I think if, all, if black people were all in code and we all did not accept this word at all, especially making songs about it. I mean, we have, for Christ's sakes, we have rappers who make songs about the word. And... I'm going to get to Ice Cube's uh, take on it, but for right now, I'm talking about Michael Eric Dyson. The fact that we took ownership of this word to me is despicable, okay? Um, we so-called changed the meaning 
but then we expect others not to say the word. Not only is that immature, but in a free society where one has free speech, you can't have it both ways. Either we are against it and we fight it every turn to end it, or we continue using it and expect to hear it back from others. It's just one or the other. We can't have it both ways. So with that said, so in the interview at 630, of that um, interview, Dyson explains more on white privilege. Um, I have to say that I have a total different, not a total different perspective, but mine is just different from uh, Michael Dyson's on his explaining the trouble of mayor using the N-word. The problem is that if we allow it to happen, if we allow mayor to uh, use it like I said before and not protest it fully then others will soon follow um, then begs the question what's next so I think it's really troublesome that we do have some black people who have a voice and have gotten out there and said oh well it, he is a comedian and it is just a joke no no remember there are others who can follow suit and so if you want to open that can of worms, believe me, that's what's, like I said, what's next? So we need to really take a stand on this issue. And I mean really take a stand. Because either you're going to stand for something or you're going to fall for anything. That's how the saying goes and that's the truth. So with that said, I think I'm going to leave um, the whole Michael Dyson, Eric situation. No, I'm going to go one last point about Michael Eric Dyson. I just want to say lastly about Michael Eric Dyson. On the brother, this brother is well educated, but it would be nice to hear him explain things in a more practical manner, using less of, um, sophisticated words that one doesn't have to run to a dictionary just to understand his point. I really like um, his intelligence. He, we have different um, points of views at times, but the brother is in a, a, a very good um position he knows a lot and I learn a lot from him so I'm not gonna discount the whole person just because I may disagree with him on a point or two I think as black people we need to come together on a lot of things that we do agree upon and then put the things that we disagree on put those aside so with that said I'm gonna move on to um, the uh, interview portion with uh, Ice Cube so what's interesting about Ice Cube is that when he first came out, um, he came out strong and hard. He was not joking. He got right to the point. And he flat out told Bill Mayer that I knew you were going to fuck up sooner or later. And yeah, Bill, um, Bill Mayer, you know what? He was recognized that. I think um, he's going to never live this down for the rest of his life. But yeah, he he's learned that. And um but anyways, let, let me get to the point. One thing I have to say that everything was going fine until uh, Ice Cube got to the point of where he was explaining to Bill Mayer that black people took ownership of the word. No, maybe he has in some other rappers, and I think that's a detriment to this whole argument. That's why it's really hard for people to argue because, as I stated before, in a free society where we have the right to free speech, you can't expect to take ownership of a word that's really immature. You can't take expect to take ownership of a word and that only you can use it and no one else. And then you have a temper tantrum like a child because somebody else uses the word. The yes, the word has been used against my ancestors also to kill, rape, and do whatever and, and enslave so there is a an attitude there is a personality there is a crime committed with the use of this word so i'm going to get to a point here because i really wanted to 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 touch on ice cube and his statement how black people took ownership of this word again no we have not and again i reject that and i hope that many other black people will reject that idea as well. What we need to do is 
give it back to the white person, give it back to the white man, give it back to the white race. When they use it against you, if you if instead of having a temper tantrum and acting like a child, exactly what they're expecting, instead of that, how about you give it back to them and call it to them? Yeah, they they don't like it as much as you don't. Especially, they find it insulting when you call them that word, as a matter of fact. And they say, no, they can't be a nigger because they're white. And I go, precisely, but your actions is what proves my case. It's what proves my point. It's your actions. That's what makes you a, a nigger. That's what makes you one. It's your actions. It has nothing to do with your words. But see, your words, when you use that against another person, right away you're showing what you are. And that's what you are. See, it's really simple. But black people have seemed to miss the point of this. And so, I really wanted to touch on that and just say that, no, I don't agree with Ice Cube on that point. I think we should give it back to white people. Period. And every time it's used against us, yes, we need to protest against it. On code, stand together on that point, and not even accept it with our rappers. It's no, it's no, it should not, it's never, it should have been a term of endearment. Are you kidding me? Or have you just forgotten history? Or you want to forget history? And see, that's horrible because they always say history repeats itself. You allow someone to call you that. That that's horrible. And then expect other people not to use the word. It's immature. So I'm going to get to my main point. There's only two people that I've heard that got it right in my point of view. It's not Ice Cube. Even though, like I said, I can respect everything he pretty much said up to the point of saying that black people took ownership of the word. Um, no. Who it is, is someone I'm subscribed to. And that is... Professor Black Truth, he got it right. And the question Ice Cube should have been asking, and the same with Bill Mayer is, instead of saying, well, you you made a comparison of a house nigger versus a, a, sli uh, um, a house nigger versus a field nigger instead, why, why did you do that? No, the question should have been exactly what Professor Black Truth said. And wait a minute, one other person I'm going to give that credit to, and that is, Simone Sanders because she said it too is that no Bill Miller mayor how did you get so comfortable to compare yourself to a slave you've never been one like Professor Black Truth said you've never been a slave and yet you compared yourself to a slave enough to be comfortable to say that that's the problem that's a major problem no instead you are a white person and like Simone Sa Sanders made the statement herself is that is how did you get so comfortable to say it when in fact people that look just like you Bill, Bill Mayer that look just like you were instead slave masters you owned human beings you were a slave master so to for you to use that word in and of itself even as a joke was foul and I'm glad you recognize that and I'm glad you you apologize for it. Even though you yourself said it's so cliche when people apologize so much for their transgressions, but yet you knew it was you knew it was necessary. You knew that was the right thing to do. And hopefully with the black people that you've had on your show so far who have discussed this with you, hopefully by now you've gotten the message and you've gotten it clear. And hopefully it sends a message to the rest of white America and everyone else that is just simply not cool using the N-word at all. And when you do, you're just making a reflection of who you are. And you should think about that. That, well, wow, am I a nigger myself by calling someone else one? That's a question you should be asking yourself. So, with that said... No, wait a minute. Before I end, I do want to speak a little bit about Simone Sanders. Now, as for Simone Sanders, um, as I said, she also made the same point Professor Black Truth made as far as um, Bill, 
mayor using the N word as if um, as if he was a part of the slave class when in fact he was more of the slave master so I give her kudos definitely for that um, she comes off definitely as a black um, feminist someone who inserted gender into the discussion and she focused on that by saying how women were treated in slavery when in fact it was women and men and I, I, this that point made me kind of um, uneasy that she wouldn't include the family in that structure when she spoke on it when you're in a position where you're able to speak to power and speak to the people you should be thinking wholly of the whole picture and not just part of it and as a black feminist oftentimes that's what they do and it's a fail it is a fail because you're not focusing on the black family because that's ultimately what slavery definitely affected what I did appreciate is the fact that when she came behind Ice Cube she showed support for what Ice Cube said that was very on point we call it on code but that was on point she followed up with Ice Cube by giving him support and that to me that's very important so I did appreciate that point about her but I didn't like the fact that she inserted gender into the discussion and she focused so clearly on that we know how black women were treated sure but we know how black men were treated and black children were treated black mothers black fathers we know how we all were treated during that time and that's what should be the main focus of the discussion instead of just focusing on you so anyways I'm gonna um that was all I really wanted to discuss with that that um, again Bill Mayer as far as I'm concerned he definitely made an error I'm glad he's stepped forward and apologized for it. I hope he learned from that and never does it again. And I hope it is a teachable moment. That is a teachable moment to many Americans that black people, as black people, we don't appreciate it. So I'm going to end with this. We need to be on code and just agree to not use the word. Give it back to Europeans. Give it back to the slave master. Give it back to the white supremacist who gave it to you. So with that said, thanks for watching. Peace and love to you and yours. Until the next video, don't forget to love yourself. I'm out.